Hey everybody and welcome to episode 232 of Unboxing Wednesdays for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, April 8th, 2015. Ricky, how many weeks away are we from the hugest comic book event of our lifetime? Uh, I don't know, man. When's Black Hunters Club 7 coming? No, 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 no. Free comic book day, man. Oh, there you go. Saturday, May 2nd. We're like less than a month away. It's going to be crazy. Stadium Comics, as you all know, and I'm sure as Ricky knows, brings it each and every year for, for free comic book day. We have one of the largest events in North America. I'm going to go out on a limb, Ricky, and say that we have the largest free comic book day in the universe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, in, in the known universe. Yeah. Jupiter's pretty big, though. So. Well, uh, you know, like, Jupiter's part of our known universe, though. So I just quash that. Again, we're going to have a huge event this year. Um, biggest sale of the year here in store. We're going to have about 30 different comic book creators uh, out in our um, artist alley out, outside the store. Ricky's going to be one of them. He's not going to be working the store that day like he should. His priorities are not in line. And he's going to be selling himself rather than Stadium Comics. But that's okay. We'll allow it for one day. We've got a whole bunch of other guests that are coming too. And we can't wait to let you guys know about each and every one of them. And we can't wait to let you know about all the uh, awesome sales and door crashers and stuff we're going to be doing. All of that is coming soon. Please stay tuned to our Facebook page and our website, StadiumComics.com, for updates. And it's going to be Saturday, May 2nd. Definitely, um, you know, mark that off on your calendars now. And if you're working that day, quit your job. Uh, if you're sick that day, fight through it. You're going to want to be here for a free comic book day. All right, Ricky, let's go ahead and open up some boxes. While Ricky's uh, putting all the comics away and you're dreaming of a Saturday the May set. While Ricky's putting all the comics away and you're all out there dreaming of how awesome it would be to come to Stadium Comics on May 2nd, I want to remind everybody about Comic Boxer. Yes, Comic Boxer. I just spent pretty much all of uh, the first half of this week um, packaging up and sending out Comic Boxers. So everybody who is a Comic Bo Boxer member uh, as of like the 5th of April, you'll all be getting your uh, comic box for shipment hopefully within the next uh, week or so if you're in North America probably a little longer if you're overseas uh, but it's awesome if you're in comic boxer for the collectability aspect which is which is cool you know comic boxer is a mix of uh, people who are new to comics people who are looking for new stories to read or people who are looking to add value to their collection uh, this month's selection of books definitely will add value to your collection and I think you'll all know what I mean uh, when you see what you've got in this month's shipment. I can't wait to show it to everybody and uh, we'll have a, a comic boxer unboxing video uh, here on our channel probably uh, probably sometime next week so keep an eye out for that. If you're not a member yet uh, sign up now to receive April's box. There's a lot of cool things going in April's box and you can do that by heading over to comicboxer.com uh, It starts for uh, as low as $17.99 a month. Yeah, so check out comicboxer.com. Alright, on to the collectibles. This is uh, sure to be a popular figure today. Uh, probably the most successful out of the recently introduced comic book TV shows. It is the Flash, uh, based on the television show Action Figure. Joining the, uh, the Avengers, which came out last week at our store, we've got an Ultron pop figure. Then we have some chess pieces to show you. From DC we have this awesome Batman Beyond chess piece. He's a knight. And we've got Johnny Quick as well. They are joined this week by Ultron from Marvel and also from Marvel Claw. Then we have a Batman vehicle. It is the Batcopter from Detective Comics 421. Okay, moving on to the collected editions. New from Marvel today, it's Star Wars The Empire Legends Volume 1. And this is Marvel reprinting uh, some iconic Star Wars stories that have occurred over the past uh, little while while Marvel has not had Star Wars, uh, so that's an interesting arrangement there. Uh, this uh, contains stories from books like Star Wars Republic, Star Wars Purge, um, Star Wars Darth Vader and the Lost Command, and Star Wars Dark Times. So you're watching Arrow, you love the character Deathstroke, you've been picking up the new Deathstroke comics which are awesome, uh, but you haven't lived 
or, you know, known the Deathstroke character in any serious manner until you've read some early 90s Deathstroke uh, written by Marv Wolfman. And uh, this is Deathstroke, the Terminator Assassins. This is volume one, and it reprints some classic early 90s stuff. Jupiter's Legacy gets a soft cover for volume one. Uh, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Ghostbusters collected here in soft cover. Volume two of the new Captain Marvel series. The smash hit Mortal Kombat X Blood Ties. This is Volume 1. Volume 1 of DC's new Harley Quinn ongoing series. And Volume 2 of that same series now available in hardcover. Alright, moving on to the smaller press books, we've got Four Points, issue number one from Aspen Comics. From Valiant, we have Imperium, issue three. Masks 2, number one from Dynamite. Lola XOXO Wasteland Madam, issue number one from Aspen. Issue number two of The Surface from Image Comics. Big Man Plans, issue two of four from Image. Bill and Ted's Most Triumphant Return, issue number two. Birthright reaches issue number six. We've got a second printing of Nameless number two, and a first printing of Nameless number three. Rat Queens, issue number 10. Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye, issue 39, has these two covers. And we also have this variant cover. Transformers vs. G.I. Joe, number six, has these two covers. And here's the variant cover for that book. We've got Reanimator number one from Dynamite. Sonic the Hedgehog issue number 271. And Sonic Boom issue six. Astro City number 22. Rye issue eight. The Legacy of Luther Strode issue one. Odyssey number four. <coughs> Marceline Gone Adrift issue four of six. My Little Pony Fiendship is Magic issue number two. Savior number one, a lot of people are talking about this book. It is written by Todd McFarlane and uh, illustrated by the amazing Clayton Crane, who you may know from uh, any number of Carnage miniseries that have come out over the last few years over at Marvel Comics. This book is basically like somebody with um, Christ-type powers uh, showing up on modern day er uh, you know, our modern-day Earth, and what would the reaction be towards that type of person? Here's Kaiju Max, issue number one. I read a preview of this from Oni Press a few weeks back ago, and I gotta say, I was really, really impressed. It looks kind of childish and everything, looking at the uh, front cover here. Um, but basically what it is, is uh, kaiju monsters, the uh, famed uh, mythical monsters from Japanese monster movies, and, uh, and television shows like Power Rangers, and all that kind of thing. Uh, they are, uh, there's, there's this island that is a maximum security prison of sorts for kaiju type monsters and this is all about one monster uh, getting picked up and placed into that prison and his experiences there so it's like Oz meets Orange is the New Black meets Godzilla that's that's how I'm labeling it and it's pretty awesome I have to say it was it was quite funny and here is the variant cover by Brian Lee O'Malley of Scott Pilgrim fame Last month's most talked about Ninja Turtles issue in the history of Ninja Turtles issues, maybe since the first issue of Ninja Turtles, uh, is uh, back in second printing form. This is Ninja Turtles issue number 44, the supposed death of Donatello. Does he actually die? Um, well, sources are pointing to no. Looks like he's going to be uh, in recovery mode in the next issue. Uh, but people are already calling this the Donatello death hand variant on eBay as opposed to the uh, second printing of issue 44. So expect some traction around this book as well. We've got issue number 27 of Saga, The Walking Dead issue 140. Jupiter's Circle number one has uh, multiple covers today. Here's a couple of them here. One of the most popular image uh, comics releases over the last few months was Descender issue number one last month. Here's the follow-up, Descender issue number two. And finally today from Dark Horse, we've got Rebels issue number one. Uh, written by Brian Wood and illustrated by Andrea Muddy. And uh, this is a period piece. Uh, we all know how Ricky feels about period pieces. Uh, but despite that, I am very much looking forward to this book. It is about the American Revolution. And I'm sure uh, if Brian Wood's got anything to do with it, we'll be able to draw a lot of parallels uh, to the American Revolution back then versus what's going on now in uh, world politics. Okay, moving on to Marvel, we've got the next installment in the $1 True Believers line, and it is Civil War, issue number one. If you've never read Civil War uh, and aren't sure whether you want the graphic novel or not, pick up this first issue for a dollar. Give it a sample. Uh, you'll kind of have an idea of what's uh, in store for the Civil War Captain America movie coming out in the near future. And after reading this, I can guarantee you you're going to want to buy 
the uh, full uh, collection of Civil War books. And I could say the same thing for Planet Hulk. Uh, awesome, awesome storyline. The True Believers $1 edition of Planet Hulk issue number one. We've got a second printing of all new X-Men issue number 38, which was chapter four of the Black Vortex storyline. Shield issue number four. Bucky Barnes Winter Soldier issue number seven. Howard the Duck issue number two. Spider Woman issue number six. Storm issue number 10. Here's Ant-Man issue number four with a distinctly Miami Vice uh, tribute cover. Here's the Ant-Man number four variant featuring a What the Duck cover. Avengers Millennium issue two. Darth Vader number four. Here is the Darth Vader number four variant. Hulk number 14. Captain Marvel number 14, which is chapter 11 in the Black Vortex saga. Avengers World number 19. Angela Asgard's Assassin issue number five. James Patterson's Max Ride First Flight. This is issue number one, based on James Patterson's Max Ride uh, line of novels. Here's the Max Ride action figure variant cover. Hawkeye issue number two. Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man number 12. Spider-Man 2099 number 11. Finally from Marvel today we've got this oversized uh, issue of Deadpool. It's Deadpool number 45 but it's also the 250th uh, issue of Deadpool. And in this issue Deadpool says that he is going to die. This is the death of Deadpool. Whether or not that actually happens, who knows? You can never tell with Deadpool. We'll have to read this issue to find out. This is uh, an oversized issue though, and as a result it is got a, it does have a, a cover price on it of $9.99 US. Uh, this is the regular cover for it. This is the Howard the Duck, What the Duck variant. Here is the Deadpool tribute to Avengers issue number one variant. Okay, moving on to DC Comics. Uh, it is of course week one of the Convergence miniseries books, uh, but we also have some you know, outside of the regular DC Universe titles to show you that are continuing on in their regular monthly fashion. First up is Mortal Kombat X issue number 5. Then we've got Arrow season 2.5 number 7. Batman Arkham Knight issue number 2 featuring a Harley Quinn cover. Here's the Arkham Knight variant cover by Jay Lee. Alright, and now we get into uh, the Convergence miniseries books. Uh, the first week of Convergence takes a look at pre-Flashpoint DC Universe. So you see a lot of uh, characters and uh, um, storylines and stuff that you would have seen in, uh, in, a, in a world before Flashpoint and before the New 52. So first up is Convergence, The Atom, issue number one. And here is the variant cover by Chip Kidd. We've got Convergence, The Question, issue number one, featuring Renee Montoya as The Question. And then here is the variant by Chip Kidd. Convergence Titans issue number one. Here's the variant cover. Convergence Batgirl issue number one. We've got Stephanie Brown Batgirl. We've got Cassandra Kane there. We've got the original uh, pre Flashpoint Red Robin, Tim Drake. This looks like a cool book. Here's the variant. All you Wally West Flash fans want to pick up Speed Force issue number one. I know all you Flash television fans are thinking, who the hell is Wally West? Uh, but he was the guy who basically carried the Flash banner all throughout the late 80s, uh, the 90s, and the early part of the 2000s, up, right up until Barry Allen's return before Flashpoint. Um, so that is Speed Force, and that is the variant. Convergence Justice League number one, there's the variant. Convergence Superman number one, a world where Superman still wears red tights and is in love with Lois Lane instead of Wonder Woman. This is, uh, this is going to be a throwback for a lot of people for sure. And there's the variant cover. Nightwing and Oracle number one. Nightwing is still wearing blue, probably located in the city of Bloodhaven as opposed to Gotham. Barbara Gordon is still wheelchair bound after the events of the Killing Joke and, uh, and playing the role of Oracle. Here's the variant cover. Convergence Batman and Robin number one. There's the variant. Convergence Harley Quinn number one. This cover is definitely a throwback to the Gotham City Sirens days. And there's the variant cover. Then of course we have Convergence Issue 1, the uh, first of eight issues out today. Nine if you include uh, Issue 0 from last week. This is the uh, Ivan Rice cover, and then this is the Tony Daniel cover. Then we have a blank cover for that issue as well. We've got this awesome Plastic Man and Swamp Thing variant cover. And then uh, there's this, uh, first appearance of Robot Batman by Greg Capullo. Uh, perhaps. Uh, this this cover is definitely 
his first appearance. This Batman is going to be the Batman we're going to see post-convergence uh, in the Batman ongoing series. What role uh, this armored Batman is going to have to play and how he'll factor into things is not known right now, but maybe this cover gives us a hint. <clears throat> All right, guys, prize time. So last week we're giving out a copy of Convergence Number Zero, and we asked you guys what your favorite uh, era of DC was, and we got some pretty awesome answers. Uh, Dakeman Bob said Silver Age uh, because all of the awesome goofy stories. Whenever I'm sad, I read any Silver Age Batman Superman Flash book, and it brightens my day. Wow, oh, that's cute. I can just picture you sitting there on a couch. Reading Silver Age comics. How cute. Joel Stanley said, I know everyone will crap on this, but my favorite era is the New 52. Not only did it get me back into comics, but turned me on to Unboxing Wednesdays. Well, for that, we must praise the New 52. And for your bravery, too. I mean, you know, you said it even though you knew people were going to crap on you. Uh, but I, I won't crap on you, because the New 52 is cool. Um, a lot of people were reading it, and it's a pretty good overall universe. Uh, it's got some issues, but overall it's pretty good. J-C-S-E-I-J-I, -I, J Sejis, I don't know how to pronounce that, says my favorite era in the comics is 1960s because you did not have to buy a whole year's worth of comics just to figure out what the story was all about. I agree, man. What's up with today and their crazy amount of tie-ins and books upon books and issue zeros and point ones? It's too much, man. Too much. But the winner goes to XX Kitchen Ninja XX. He really likes his X's. He says, My favorite era is now. With the ever so growing popularity of comics, now, due to social media and movies, the comic industry is booming with new ways to intrigue noobs and veterans alike with their 3D comics, scratch and sniff issues, digital copies, and so forth. I agree, publishers right now have so much technology behind them to get cool things out. I mean, in the 90s they tried and had like die cut covers and gold embossed covers, but it, people weren't feeling it. But I, I feel like these 3D covers, you know, it's it's, inter it's interesting enough that people are like, yeah, well, what's this? And uh, the scratch and sniff was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And what I particularly like about these, you don't have to read 5 billion issues to understand what's going on, like the other dude said. So congratulations, XX Kitchen Ninja XX. You win a copy of Convergence number zero. <sighs> this week we're giving out a copy of what? Nothing. No, I'm kidding. What we're giving out is one copy of any of the Convergence titles. Um, so let us know in the comments which one you're most excited for and why. And the best answer will win a copy of that issue that you're excited for. Oh yes. Oh yes. So let us know in the comments what issue you're most excited for and you could win that very issue. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you once again for watching. Ricky, why don't you tell everybody out there where you're going to be this weekend? Oh, I'm going to be in Sarnia, guys. It's like right near Michigan, I think. Yeah, right near Port Huron, Michigan. Yeah, but in Ontario. So, <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, Sarnia Pop Convention happening on Sunday. Something else that's interesting that's happening on that very day, there's an online convention. It's a very weird online convention. Yeah, very interesting concept. There's a, a Facebook page, and uh, there's a lot of like Walking Dead extras on it, and then there's me. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you. And this can, is also on Sunday. Yeah, this is like Sunday. I think all day kind of thing. So Ricky has done the impossible. <laughs> he is in two uh, conventions at once. Yeah. I think legally by law, uh, the Catholic Church must now declare you a saint. That's that is right. one of the miracles yeah. required to show that you're in yeah. two places at once. So it's an interesting thing. I think like each person has like a time slot, and then you can ask them questions during that time okay, slot. Okay, cool. So, so people can go on there and ask you questions. Yeah, I think I'm like at 12 or something. All right. Right. Remember, free comic book day, Saturday, May 2nd. Pay attention to our web page and our Facebook page for more info on that, and our, also on our Twitter and our Instagram. Uh, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the on the screen, including uh, a couple of those that I just talked about. Make sure you tune in, tune into the recap podcast uh, with 
uh, our good friend and co-worker Louie getting you all caught up to date on everything going on in the world of comics. And we'll see you all next time for episode 233 of Unboxing Wednesdays. Take care, everybody. Enjoy your comics this week. Thank <laughs> you.